welcome to the show. Thank you. You've done so many different things. I mean, you've done television, you've done film, you've done video games, right. and this is an animated series. I'm really interested in, in if there are any differences between composing for live action versus animation. Uh, like a feature film kind of thing? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think in animation you you can just be broader with your com with the comedy writing. You can just go over the top with the the action. I mean, you think about some of the big action sequences that they just do in a 22 minute cartoon. It's like if you were to do that on a, a big blockbuster, you'd be like a 200 million dollar film. You right. know, they're just going crazy. So you can kind of do the same thing, and it's it's a great place as a composer to experiment and. Uh, Weekly, I just kind of get to just do my thing, and I'm not worried about you know like 15 executives breathing on my back and not a lot of sure. no, not a lot of notes coming back. So we said I've been really lucky that with this awesome. show. Yeah, yeah it helps yeah. your freedom. Uh, it really does. I, it, you know, it's like hey, I can do what I want. You know, within reason. I, I I know what I'm doing. I've been doing this, and these people trust me. I can just do my thing. What's your primary instrument? I grew up playing piano, trumpet, and uh, just in the last couple of years, I was like, you know, why why don't I play that rock guitar? So I bought a Pulled guitar, I bought a bass, guitar. and I like got the little amp and turned it up to eleven, and a lot of, you know, kind of. It's like you know, I I was never in bands growing up, but this is this is my excuse to like really pretend. You know, I sit in my studio and get my little synthesizer patches up for guitar and just go crazy and um, then I send it off to a real guitarist these guys just you know kind of shred their thing and really take my sketches and make them sound awesome and then they send me all the stems I throw them into my uh, digital performer and I mix it up well we understand on generation Rex you got a little special help from your daughter Piper that's true. And I think you also have a little special help on some of your shows from Keller That's so right. I like I think they're here. They Would are you here. Would girls like to come and sit with us and tell us how you work with your dad? They've been very excited all week. Yay! Welcome to What's the up, show. What's up, Cal? I think these are the youngest guests we've ever had. I know, <laughs> and so talented. So, so what are your instruments? What do you guys play? I play cello mm -hmm. and piano. Mm -hmm. And I play violin and piano. Wow. So tell, first let's talk about uh, uh, Generator Rex and, and sort yeah. of how that happened. Okay. Well, um, so Piper... I was Piper was really interested in this theme that I wrote for uh, for Van Kleist, who's the major bad character Ooh. on the show, and so I showed her how to play it on the piano, and uh, she was just she she figured it out, and I was like, you know, Piper, wouldn't it be cool if you like helped me, and like, what if you wrote a, a variation on it? So. And what did you think when Dad asked you that? Well, I want to impress him and make something, so I came up with two. Different things. And were you impressed, chords. Dad? Yeah, actually, very. Yeah, so she, I, she kind of kept the same chord progression, and then she did new themes on top, new uh, melodies. And um, I took that, and then we went into my studio, and she was there while I was doing it. And I was like, so you know, asked her, do you like this? How I'm doing this? And she's like, yeah, I like it. And you know, whatever, Dad. You know, <laughs> were, there, kind of were there any uh, legalities with the studio and using? Child labor, so to speak, for a for score? I don't think so. I don't know if they knew. Yeah. Oh, so you just did it, okay. I, you know, yeah, I, I, I talked to one of the producers and just studio. told them that, you know, that my daughter was, we kind of worked on something together. They, they was like, oh, that's cool. Yeah. And Keller um, worked on Nancy Drew, correct? Mm -hmm. So tell us about doing that. Well, I helped my dad with Nancy Drew when I was play, practicing my piano. And I s like to make up um, little songs in a minor key. And I made up this little scary song. Ooh. And I liked it. And I went out and, told, and I played it for my dad. And he said that that might work with his Nancy Drew game that he was doing. And he played it with it. And he said that it would work. Wow, that is wow. great. I, uh, I have a little daughter who's playing piano and writing songs, and I was like, come <laughs> on, get, get it together so we can do stuff together. Yeah. It's, it's, you know, there's nothing I'm, I'm waiting for, it. It's, but it must be an absolutely beautiful feeling yeah. to be able to it's do It's fun. That. Yeah, it's really so fun. So what's it like for, for you, you girls to then see the final product and be like, wow, I helped do that? It was cool. 
I was yeah. like, Piper, you know, the show gets like $1.3 million, $1.3 million, <laughs> million, million views, you know, uh, on a typical Friday night. And I was like, you know, whether they realize it or not, 1.3 million people are listening to something you've done. I mean, that's kind of cool. She's like, yeah. Yeah, they're cool. a little jaded. Kids, are, kids are a little you, jaded. And what about you, Keller, when you, when you saw the game and you helped do the bad guy theme? Uh, it was cool to see my, to hear my music. Did your friends think it was cool? Yeah. Well, hopefully <laughs> there will be many, many more family collaborations to come. And thank you girls for being so brave and being on the show and talking about your composing and working with your dad. And Kevin, thank you so much. Thank you. For being on the show. We will be tuning in to yeah, Ultimate Spider-Man. Personally, I think it's good for boys and for girls. Uh, thank you guys. Composers of all ages. Exactly. That's, that's how we roll. <laughs> that's right.